Hello everyone and welcome to another lap time challenge and in this one I'll just try to explain what I did and how I did my lap and I will guide you through the whole process of actually achieving the gold medal. So let's begin. We can see something like this. I will hit replay and this is pretty much the benchmark that I have and it gives me it gives me a good indication of what to do and what not to do. So I normally give myself a couple of minutes to study lap and okay, I think this is usually your first breaking point. In normal conditions I would break at the 50 meter mark, but now I will probably break just passing that gap on the left. So now going in, full braking going in until the apex, downshifting into second, still in second, and then full out. So as far as I can see it, and I think you can also see the puddles around the track. So you can see that the track is getting very, very wet in some in some parts. You you really want to avoid that. You just want to avoid that by all cost. And even here, we're going in over the curb. Okay, we're going over the curb, but I don't think it's really uh, that bad. Breaking in the straight line, that's it. Third gear, second. Okay, staying in second, don't downshift into first. And then you can see this. Oh, okay. He's trying to avoid the puddle. Maybe he should have got a little bit of a wider line, but okay, maybe that's the faster one. I'm not gonna judge. I first have to make my own lap uh, to work, let's say to work. But here, third gear, 70% of the brakes, and the car really slides. And once again, avoiding the puddle, taking a wider line over the grass a little bit, just a little lift. And then here, I think the breaking point should be similar, about 50. Okay, a little bit before the 50, avoiding the puddles, not taking the most out of the track, because in the wet conditions, it's, it's a little bit different. You really don't want to use a lot of that track. You really want to avoid the puddles and use all the grip available. That's, yeah, that's pretty much the basics of driving in the wet. But here, 50, braking at about 50%. The car once again slides and he's also downshifting and upshifting into Ford. Okay, over the puddle, and that's gonna be a 107.9 let's see if i can beat that or if i can at least get close to that okay i got 13 days oh i can see if the weather is going to be changing but oh it slides it slides it slides oh yeah I'm trying, I'm really trying to put the power down, but it's difficult. Oh yeah. Just one thing. I want to feel the wheel a little bit better. Okay, let's avoid the puddles. Third. Now we need to slide. Too much. Oh, it's pushing me out. 109 is the gold. I think I was a little bit too slow in that part. Oh, yeah. I have to be careful in these wet conditions, but let's see. It's fine, it's fine. Ooh. Got forward. I think I should have been positioning the car a little bit better. Oh, this is 112.2. second oh it's gonna go wide we need to avoid the puddles I can just feel that the car is sliding quite a lot okay maybe it should have done it in third a little lift the car is gonna get in Okay, let's stay on the track. 
Okay, turn, turn. Then, okay. Oh, uh, now I see why he was turning and while braking there. The car is giving you... Because the car is giving you more of a slide. You want to slide, but don't slide too much. And even here, like third gear. Easy. I'm going to hear stop it, stop it, stop it. We want to get a wider angle. Forward gear on the way out. I should have upshifted earlier. But it's still better. It's still better. Three tenths better. Three tenths. here I should have downshifted into fourth turn it in don't lift stay you have to stay committed even if it slides stay 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 on the track Yeah, it looks like you have to cause a lot of understeer with this car. I don't know how it works, but it does work. Okay, flat out, let's see. off third oh yeah that was better hopefully the car isn't gonna slide that much stay 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 okay 109.0 but I think after all, I think 109.0 is kind of okay. So, 37 kilometers. And that's it. I mean, it's 538th place in the world. I mean, it's not the best, honestly. But I've only spent like a couple of laps. And I think this is going to be more than enough to get you in, in the gold. And I think this is eventually going to be... This is going to be gold by the end of the week, so I'm not I'm not really worried about this that much, and that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, you can always hit the like button, and you can even subscribe to the channel if you really enjoyed it. So guys, thank you very much for watching this time, and I'll catch you next time. See ya. Bye.